Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I was going to talk a little bit about my eyelids and um, how I have gotten them to improve or look improved over the course of the four years that I've been out here on YouTube. If you watched any of my earlier videos, you will have seen me with more sagging, more wrinkled, more hooded eyelids that really, really bothered me. And if you watch any of my videos now, you will see that my eyelids are a bit less sagging, a bit less wrinkly. The skin is a bit firmer. Probably starting about two years ago, I started receiving comments asking me what I did to my eyelids. Specifically, did I have surgery on them? And I actually put out a video a few years ago trying to explain that I didn't have eyelid surgery, um, but that it was really just a combination of my skincare routine that was starting to work and some makeup techniques and possibly a little bit of Botox that was helping my eyelids. Well, now it's another two years beyond that, and I've noticed that, especially lately over the last couple of months, those questions have been snowballing in again. So I feel like when people start asking over and over the same question and I see it like five times a week, ten times a week, then it's time to address the issue in a video. Because while I'm not hiding anything from you and everything I have done has been out there for you to watch in a video, I can't direct you to all 415 of my videos and say, oh, just watch all those and then you'll know what I've done. You don't have the time for that. What I'm saying is that everything I've done is out there for you to see. I haven't done anything in secret behind your back. You know, if I have a procedure done, I make a video about it and you guys know about it. And then you get an update two weeks, three months, six months, and I tell you if I think it worked or not. If I even switch up anything in my skincare, I tell you guys about it. So I'm going to condense it all down into this video, all the things that I think have contributed to my eyelids looking better. And, you know, that's, that's all I can do because I don't know for sure. If there, was, if there was one thing that I put on and it was like instantly within a week or ten days they were suddenly better, I would say, yes, it was that one thing. But it hasn't been like that. If you look from the old videos to the now videos, you can see a very, very slow, slow progression. <laughs> Painfully slow. Four years worth of slow. But, you know, four years they do look better. And I will say again that a lot of it is makeup. But I took some pictures of my eyelids this morning when I first woke up to show you them with no makeup on them and you can see <laughs> that, you know, they're improved but they're not improved to the point of it being like a surgical result. Some people have written in in the past and said that they could see the surgery scar on my eyelid and so they knew I was lying. The point of this video is not to prove that I haven't done it, but I just wanted to show you my eyelids so up close and personal that you could see that there is not a scar there. And you can see when my eyes don't have makeup on them that while they look better than they did in a very, very first year of videos, they're not like so fantastic. Makeup really is a big part of it. So the number one thing that I think has helped my eyelids to improve is using Retin-A. And as I always tell you guys, I don't put it on my eyelids. You're not supposed to use it on your eyelids, and I don't. I just put it around, you know, leaving a hole for my eye. I put it everywhere else. But I feel like it has firmed and toned up the rest of my skin. It helps to produce more collagen. But the thing is the way I put it on. So when I put on my Retin-A, I don't wait afterwards to then put on my next moisturizer or serum. I just slap them on one right after the other. And even though I don't put the Retin-A directly on my eyelids, I do put my next serum on my eyelid. So I start it down here where my Retin-A is and I smear it up onto my eyelids. And I think that I'm getting a little bit of a smearing of the Retin-A up onto my eyelids, not enough that it's going to cause irritation, but enough that it has helped to rebuild some of the collagen in that area that's made the skin firmer and plumper than they were four years ago when I started when it was really quite saggy and quite wrinkly. Okay, Now, so that's the number one thing. The number two thing that I think is definitely the eyeshadow. When you guys see me on YouTube, you see me from this camera angle, I always have the good eyeshadow done. I don't have it done like that every day, and depending on how I wear my eyeshadow, 
it can make a huge difference in how my eyelids appear. The shadow makes the hood recede and then the light color makes the eyelid look bigger and more prominent. And if you want to know how to do that, I've done plenty of eyeshadow tutorials showing exactly where to place the eyeshadow, exactly what colors to use, exactly what brushes to use. And I'll link a whole bunch of those in the information box below the video. Number three is that I started sleeping on my back. I mainly started sleeping on my back to get rid of some chest wrinkles that were forming because, you know, sleeping on your side, you wake up and it's like a big Y of wrinkles. I was also having a vertical wrinkle down my cheek. And um, I had read that simply sleeping on your back can eliminate those wrinkles. So I started sleeping on my back. Well, little did I know I was going to have a third benefit to it, which is that I feel like it has really helped my hooded eyes because again, sleeping with your face mashed into a pillow, it mashes that hood down and it was creating more wrinkles on my eyelids while I was asleep at night. And I think that that has made a huge difference. I actually didn't realize that until I got an email from a viewer who said, you know, I haven't done anything else that you've done except switch to sleeping on my back. She said within a couple of months of starting to sleep on her back, she noticed that her hoods were less saggy, um, you know, just less flattened when she got up in the morning and less laying on her eyelashes. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, ding, light bulb went off. I was like, why didn't I think of that? Of course that has to be part of it. The other thing is I sleep with my head elevated. I have like a sleeping wedge and I'll link my sleeping wedge below. It's the 10 inch wedge. That helps the fluids that collect in the eye area to drain out of my head during the night. So I don't wake up with like really puffy eyes and stuff like that. So that's another thing. Another thing that may have helped is that I do use eyelash growth serums and I had used Latisse back when I right around the time that I did that video they discovered that people who were using Latisse actually lost fat in their uh, periorbital area and so people who had you know very hooded eyes their eyelids became less hooded while they were on Latisse of course I didn't last more than I think four to six months on Latisse, but it could have had an effect while I was using it. Another big difference from the beginning is uh, the quality of my skincare. It's not that I'm spending more for my skincare, I'm just using more proven ingredients that work for anti-aging. So where maybe before my moisturizers only had nice moisturizing ingredients in them and maybe one uh, peptide. Now I'm using like three or four different peptides. I'm using ceramides, I'm using niacinamide, I'm using hyaluronic acid, I'm using matrixyl every single day, twice a day. I actually don't use a separate eye cream, but I am getting all those proven anti-aging active ingredients in all my other skincare. The skin is looking and acting younger because I added in all those different anti-aging actives into my skincare that really weren't in there before. Another thing that I think really had a big effect on my eyelids was that I had a Fraxel Dual laser treatment done back in January. I had my entire face done and she did most of the concentration and most of the passes on my forehead and here on the sides of my cheeks where I had the most um, discolorations and sun damage, but she also did do a few passes just below my eyebrows on my eyelids. She did a few passes under my eyes and I felt like looking at the before and after pictures from that procedure, which I will uh, put the links to those in the info box below as well so that you can go and take a look at that. I feel like that really did have quite an effect on my eyelids and did lift them up quite a bit more. All right, so now I'm trying to think if I left anything out. Oh, of course, Botox. In the previous video, a lot of people were like, well, you get Botox, you can get a lift from your Botox. I really don't think that the Botox has that much to do with it. I don't get it done in a way where they're trying to do a lift. I don't get it done in a, where, a way where it actually lifts my forehead. Where I have my Botox put in is mainly here in my 11s because I have those scowl lines right there and I don't like those. And then I have them spread a little bit up into the center of my forehead. That does not cause any lifting of my eyebrows out here. You can have uh, Botox done in a way that it will give you a lift and quite a drastic lift if you like that look. I just don't like it on me, so I don't get it. So I think that Botox really has nothing to do with it. I did say in the previous video that it might have something to do with it, but wasn't really, you know, 
100% on that. So those are the things that I've changed in my skincare routine and the procedures that I've gotten over the last four years that I think have had a really big effect on my eyelids. It's really not one thing that I can point to and say, look, it fixed my eyelids, because it's really a whole basket full of things that I've done over the four years, and it has been a journey. It has been a progressive improvement that you can see if you look back at my videos. So I don't want anything to ever be a secret here. I don't want you to ever feel like you can't ask me what I'm doing. I'm not offended if you ask me if I've had surgery, Botox, you know, a laser, whatever. I'll tell you if I have or if I haven't. And I'll always do a video on anything that I have done, including skincare and procedures and a surgery if I do have one, you know, at some point in time. So that is what I've done. If you want to try to replicate these results, I suggest that you do it all. It's not an easy fix. I know everyone wants everything to be one quick and easy thing that you could do that would do it. In this case, it's not. It's been a lot of hard work, but as you can see, it pays off and it has been worth it. So that is it for the video for today, everybody. I hope that all made sense to you, and I hope that you'll click the show more button below to find all the links for all the related videos to this. So thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate your time. I hope you found the video helpful and informative, and I will see you in the next video. So take care everybody. Bye-bye.